Okay, so expressing uh, a quantity as a percentage, uh, obviously intermediate here, we're looking at the D grade sort of stuff. So what I've got here then is just a very standard question uh, that we can see in either maths or numeracy papers. So maths scored 18 out of 25 in a physics test. Express this result as a percentage. Now, let's look at that keyword there, percentage. Okay, we know a percentage is 100, okay? The percentage symbol is literally the number 100. There's the one, and we've got two zeros, okay? So a percentage is out of 100. We've got here, scored 18 out of 25. Now, when we hear the words out of, we should think of a fraction, okay? Think of like basic probability, okay? To get a tail on a coin, um, we have one out of two, okay? So there's obviously there's one tail on a coin out of two possible outcomes. So out of is a fraction. So I'm gonna write this as a fraction. Now I know it's a percentage, but let's write it using math symbols first. Now 18 out of 25, we can easily make that out of 100. Okay, so instead of going directly for the percentage symbol, let's make it out of 100. And the way we do this then is using equivalent fraction methods. Okay, what have we done to 25 to make 100? We have multiplied it by four. With equivalent fractions, it's always multiply or divide. Okay, never add or take away. Find this relationship by multiplying by four. Whatever you do to the bottom, you've got to do the same to the top. 18 times four, well, 18 doubled is 36. Double that to make 72. Therefore, 18 out of 25 is equal to, or the same as, 72 out of 100. Now, when it's out of 100, that means we can now work out a percentage very easily. 72 out of 100 is 72%. So you'll notice this second number with the easier questions are easy factors of 100. If it was out of 50, you just times it by two. If it was out of 25, you would times it by four. If it was out of 20, you times it by five, because 20 goes into 100 five times. So if they're basic factors, it's very easy. However, things do get a little bit more difficult. If I had to express 18 out of 40 as a percentage, this is more difficult because to get to 100, it's not quite as easy as this one here. Some of you might know in your heads how to get from 40 to 100 by working out what you need to multiply it by. You might know that in your head. However, if you don't and you're watching this video thinking, oh, I'm really sorry, I don't quite know how to get from 40 to 100, well, let's change this step and make it out of something else that goes into 100, which you can easily work out. I'm going to make a list of the factors of 100 over here. So this method I call a horseshoe method. So with 100, you could have 1 times 100, 2 times 50, 4 times 25, 5 times 20, and 10 times 10, okay? I'm just going to put a little cloud around those because those we can use for expressing as a percentage. So looking at those there, I can easily make 40 into one or well, quite a few of those numbers, but I'm going to pick the number 20. I'm going to make that out of 20 because there's a direct relationship to get from 40 to 20, which is to divide by 2. I'll do the same to the top. Divide by two is then nine. Equivalent fractions, I call it the burger method. Looks a bit like a burger, whatever you do to the bottom, got to do the same to the top. Right, so now I've made nine out of 20. Now, we, we've gone further away from 100, okay? And now I, I can see why you might get a little bit confused with that, but I'm thinking ahead of the game. I need to get to the number 100 to express as a percentage. And I know to get from 20 to 100, we times by five. 
and 5 times that by 5, I then 9 times 5 is 45. 45 out of 100 is 45%. So if it's an easier question, where it's out of 25, if it's out of any of these numbers, then we know it's very easy, just times them by these numbers here. As I said earlier, if it's out of 50, times by 2, out of 25, times by 4. But if it's something difficult, like 40, I'm finding an easier um, factor of 100 and then making a second step to make it out of 100. Yes, you could have just multiplied by 2.5, did the same to the top, times it by 2.5, 218 is a 36, half of 18 is 9, add it on to get a 45. I understand if you find it that way, brilliant, crack on. If you found, find that too difficult, find a middle step with a common factor where you can have, you can see here, 20 is a common factor of 40 and 100. You may get questions like this in a calculator paper where you might have something like 12 out of, let's say, 28, for instance. Whereas there's no easy way of getting from 28 to 100. But now we can use a calculator. So 12 out of 28, and now we need to make it into a percentage. All we do in our calculators, we're going to convert this to a decimal. And the way we do that is just by doing 12 divided by 28. So 12 divided by 28, we've got three sevens. So let's press SD, 0.428571. To convert that to a percentage, I need to multiply by 100. Times that by 100 equals 42.5. Eight, six. I've rounded that to two decimal places. Okay, so 12 out of 28 multiplied by 100. Remember, that means divide. And obviously on your calculator, you might have to use the SD button. We've got the arrows on the side here as well, which is that one button above the delete. Okay, yes, I've rounded that. Some questions, uh, you'll have to to round them. So if I had, uh, let's say, 10 out of 30. So 10 divided by 30 times 100. You might see that's a third straight away. So I've got 10 divided by 30 equals times 100. ST, I've got 33.3 recurring. Remember the recurring point on the top and then my units of measurement being the percentage. So express as a fraction, multiply it by 100, sorted. Hope it helps.